What's up, watchers? Okay. Today, we are color matching the second hand on this Tudor Snowflake Submariner, model number 94010. This is just showing you the final results. Bear with me. The watch has been serviced. And I do have the bracelet. I'm just holding it hostage. You'll have to see the watch with the bracelet at the end of the video. So watch out. And watch the full episode. Time's radical. Peace. Anyways, this is the watch out of the case. Now I've pre-mixed, and this is the hand with the missing loop. It's the second hand. We all know. But I've pre-mixed a little bit of color and some texture just to get started. Now I'm adding a little bit of this thickening agent. It's a little old. And it's a little gross. Now what I didn't show you was a secret. The texture I've added is actually a little bit of the silicone sand from the sandblaster just to give a little bit of that grainy texture to the paint. But we need a bonding agent, so I use a little bit of watercolor, a little bit of the silicone sand, a little thickening agent, and now this is a little thinning agent. And all this stuff smells terrible. But I kind of mix that together on one side of the palette just to get started but now I really need the color to match so right next to the textured material that I've created I'm creating another spot where I'm getting the color just right and I don't want those chemicals to touch the brush so that's why I'm, I'm mixing in two different spots on the mixing container and I have a little cup of water under my bench so I'm not playing with myself when I do that so, and I'm squeezing a little drop of paint out. And the color's starting to match. I just want to make sure I have enough of the paint, water, and textured mixture on the palette before I do the painting of the hand because I really only want to do it once. So I take a piece of wood now and I mix the two together. I'm pouring in the colored paint onto that thickener, silicone sand, 
texture material. Giving it all the right color, mixing it all together real nice. Making sure I look at the camera every once in a while to see if you can see me. And there it is. Got a little on the tip. Boom. Just one little drop on the seconds hand. And there it is. Now I am very happy. I don't have to deal with this smelly stuff. And I think the color looks really good. Uh, I think the texture is going to look really good. I just need to wait for it to dry. Once it's all dry, I put it on the watch. Ooh, give it a kiss. I bet the customer has never kissed his watch like that. But we won't tell him. And here it is. I told you I'd show you the watch with the bracelet. Now for this watch, we service the movement. I polished the bracelet lightly. And I did a light polish on the case, but not the tops of the lugs. And I uh, polished the crystal. It's a really nice crystal. Still waterproof. Fully serviced watch. I hope so I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. So my watchers, if you're just watching and not subscribing, please hit that subscribe button. But that's up to you. Keep it radical. See y'all later.